had a dream about you last night. And if that is an odd way to start a vlog, I don't know what is. It's absolutely beautiful outside. You can't see it too well because it's super, super bright on the lens, but yeah, this it's just so beautiful outside. I actually wonder how cold it is. It's probably maybe colder for me because I'm not wearing anything warm. But yeah, it's a little it's a little too cold to go without a jacket or two and obviously pants. It's super cold. Roommate is in the shower, so I just gotta wait for him to get done. I don't think he's gonna take too long. He knows I need to get ready at this time, so hopefully he'll get out really soon. But I just woke up. I've actually been watching some YouTube, the Peter McKinnon again. Um, oh, I just forgot. I uploaded yesterday's video and I forgot to put in a link in the description to his video that inspired me so much. So I'm going to go do that real quick. So no matter how hard I tried to be as quick as I can, I could not get out of the shower quick enough and get get completely ready quick enough to be able to get going so that I'd probably make the bus. I don't know, I might be late, I'm not sure. My roommate knows that I need to be in the shower no later than 9.45, and yet he still, he went in at 9.30, which is so stupid because he knows that he has a car, I have to walk. He has a car, he can get to his place where he needs to go to work. He can go to work later than I can. He can be the, he can leave when he only has five minutes to get there, and he'll be there on time. Me, I have to leave at a very specific time, otherwise, I can't make it to work on time. It's so stupid. So I'm almost late. I, I'm practically late, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to get it there on time. I, I really hate how my roommate is so inconsiderate of all the stuff he knows, he knows what the schedule is. He knows what it is. He knows that I need to be in there sooner than later. It's so, so stupid. I hate it. Well, it is a beautiful day, and I'm not as stressed anymore because I have finally cooled down. I'm sorry for that lash out. It just bothers me so much when people are so inconsiderate about other people's times. Not that time revolves around me or the world revolves around me, but it's just seriously, you gotta you gotta be respectful to other people's time and other people's schedules if you know it. And it just bothers me how much my roommate knows my schedule and where I need to be, when I need to be where I need to go, when I need to go, yet he still is very disrespectful and very inconsiderate of that schedule that I need to meet to a T. Like, a no later time I need to meet to a T. But how are you guys doing? You know how I'm feeling. But I'm starting to cool down because I actually just checked the time I was barely able to make the bus at 9.30, and I'm here now, it's almost 9.40, which is fine, I'm on my way, I'm almost halfway there to work, so, <sighs> I'm, I'm doing my best and I'm trying really hard to get there on time. Hey, I found this penny yesterday, uh -huh. on the ground. Mm -hmm. I gave it to a volunteer, well, I didn't give it to a volunteer, she picked it up, and then she gave it to me and put it in my pocket. So I found this, and I want to prove that I'm giving it to the register. <laughs> I'm walking home now from work, and I just want to show you how amazing it is out here. Of course, I might be exaggerating how amazing it is, but it's like really cold, so I'm really glad that I brought my jacket, my extra coat, 
um, because it's just too cold to be out here completely without an extra layer, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm just kind of jumbling up my words right now. But it's really nice because it's bright out, it's not dark, so I could actually pull out the camera right now and film something. So kind of towards the end of March, daylight savings happens again, and I'm hoping, or well, I mean, I know it's going to be so nice because it's going to be nice and bright, and the sun's going to be shining, and it's going to be nice and warm, and I won't have to wear these layers all the time, everywhere I go, because it is a pain, especially to put on, especially wearing a backpack. Oh, it's so tight and so, so difficult to wear these extra layers. I hate the cold, so that's why I want to move to Texas, because no matter what, it's going to be warmer. Here we are, waiting at the bus stop. It's really nice out here, other than the fact that it's cold, it's really nice. It's still not dark, like super, super dark, but over in that direction, the bus will come. Made it back home, and I just saw this. They've started mounting it to the shelf thing, and they're gonna... Looks like they're gonna hang it right there. See those red dots? That's where they're gonna hang it. Interesting. And, so far, this does not say that they're gonna use PVC pipe. They're not gonna do all of that complicated, stupid stuff that they were thinking of doing. So far, so good, anyway. Because if they do, oh boy, guys, you made it more complicated than it needed to be. Seriously, even I knew exactly what to do. And it wasn't as complicated as you guys were making it sound. So complicated. They're just like off and off and off and off and off about all this crazy complicated stuff. That's just like, seriously guys, just mount the, the bars that make the drawer open and close, like the slide. Just mount it. It's simple. It's easy. You don't need stupid piping. Seriously. Calm down and just put it together. By the way, also, look, it's brighter in here. It's so bright because they installed this giant light here. It's actually really nice because it's so much brighter. Like, the, the apartment complex that I live in, they gave us wimpy, very dim LED lights and it's as if they want us to live in a cave. These are LED lights as well, but look at this. It's so much brighter in here. It's so much better. I just am in love with how bright it is. It's just perfect. And it blends in perfectly with the light in the kitchen that we have here. And this light is actually an original LED light, or yeah, the original LED light that they had and kaboom, we installed this. It's just so much brighter in here. So much, so much better. It's just perfect in here. It's as if my apartment complex wanted us to live in caves. Hello? Obviously you're not gonna have a lot of people wanting to stay in your apartment complex because you don't have lights. I just got back from the store because I needed to make sure I had some milk for tomorrow morning. And I found some ice cream, new ice cream that I haven't seen at this store that I went to. It's the Dryer's Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup Ice Cream. I'm so excited to try it out. I hope it's any good because the actual Dryer's Chocolate Peanut Butter Ice Cream, the chocolate is kind of disgusting in my opinion. I mean, like, it's way too, I don't know, there's something about it that's just kind of, ugh. But I'm hoping that this one isn't as bad. For some reason, the the version of it in the different packaging tastes different, better or for worse. So I'm hoping that this one tastes better. I want to close out today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.